How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you some hidden one ui 7 features that many of you might have missed after installing this big update on your samsung phone guys i have already made a video showing some important one ui 7 settings you need to change and i got an amazing response from you awesome people so i thought why not go ahead and show you some more hidden features if you're a Samsung user, then it's a must watch video for you. So stay tuned and watch it until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right, guys, first things first, I got a lot of comments in my previous video asking about this clock widget that is on my lock screen. Well, Samsung has added two beautiful animated clock styles in One UI 7. And in order to get this, all you have to do is simply long press, unlock your phone, and go to the lock screen customization. Tap on the clock. Here you won't find this specific clock in font and color section. So you need to click on style. Swipe all the way to the right side. And here you will see a couple of new font styles. These are animated clock faces which I think looks really really cool on the lock screen. Now since we are in the customization page, let me show you one more hidden feature they have added in One UI 7. If you look at the bottom, right here we've got this brand new suggestion feature and when tap on it, it basically gives you a couple of lock screen suggestions. So when you don't have enough time but still want to customize your phone's lock screen, then you can use this feature. It creates some nice looking lock screen setups that are specifically designed for you and it definitely saves a lot of your time as well. As many of you might already know, we now have enlarged folders in One UI 7 and by default, it only shows 8 applications which you can directly open right from here. In order to access other applications inside the folder, you need to open the folder first. But there is a way to add more applications outside for easier access. You need to install the GoodLock app for this and the module is called HomeUp. You can find a direct link in the description below. Now once installed, long press on the home screen, go to settings, scroll down and below you'll see more customizations. When you click on it, it opens the home up module. Once you go inside, select home screen, scroll all the way down and you'll see this option called large folders. All you have to do is simply enable this feature, change it from medium to large and finally change the folder grid from 3x3 to 4x4. If you want, you can increase the icon size as well. Once done, now when you go back, you can see we can add a lot more applications to access directly without having to open the folder first. Previously, we only had up to 8 applications, but now we can have as many as 16 apps in the enlarged folders and quickly open anytime we want. Now, let me show you a couple of new battery settings that have been updated in One UI 7. If you go into your phone settings, then select battery. Here, when you scroll down, you will get this all new auto dim screen toggle. This basically dims your phone screen when the battery goes down to 5%. Previously, we never had such option to control the brightness when the battery gets down to 5% or below. But now you can decide whether you want this feature to be enabled or not. When you turn this on, you will not have any control over the brightness and it will automatically dim your phone screen when the battery is below 5%. But the good thing is now you can disable this feature and manually control the brightness even if the battery is low. Since we are inside the battery, there is one more new setting they have added. When you go inside the battery protection, we get three different modes which are already present in the previous version. But what's new here is when you select the maximum protection, we now can choose from different charging limits from 80% and it goes all the way up to 95%. So you can decide when you want the battery to stop charging. You can set it to 80%, 85%, 90% or even go up to 95% as per your need. So this is something new and useful which can be found under the battery settings. Although this is not specifically related to One UI 7, I really wanted to show you one really cool trick that I recently found out. Guys, whenever I unlock my phone using fingerprint, I get this really cool edge lighting across the edges and then it goes off. Now to activate this feature on your Samsung phone, you need to go to the modes and routines Tap on the plus icon, here for the if condition, search for unlock with fingerprint and then tap on done. And now for the then condition, simply search edge lighting effect once. You can also choose different styles for the edge lighting, change the color, adjust the duration, increase the witness and more. Once done, simply click on save and give a name to your routine. That's it. 
Now every time when you unlock your phone, you get this beautiful edge lighting across the edges. It might consume a very little amount of battery, but I think it looks really really cool on your Samsung phone, especially with One UI 7 home screen and widgets. You should definitely give it a try. While taking screenshots, we now get this new smart select icon right below. And with this feature, not only can you take precise screenshots, but you can also insert images directly into your notes, add events to your calendar, copy text from the screenshot, create GIFs while watching videos on YouTube, and even when you are browsing pictures on Google or any other social platform, it allows you to directly set it as your phone's wallpaper and you can do lot more with this AI select feature exclusively available on Galaxy phones. You can access the AI Smart Select from the Edge panel, but now what they have done is they have integrated this feature inside the toolbar and you can activate this handy tool when you take screenshots on your phone without having to open the Edge panel separately. I am sure now many of you will start using this amazing feature more often. Did you know with One UI 7, Samsung has also added this new AI feature called Call Transcript and you can enable this by going to the phone dialer, tapping on the three dots button, then select record calls. Here we have this all new option called Transcript Assist. Now scroll down and enable auto transcribe recorded calls. The AI will automatically transcribe and convert all your recorded calls into text transcript and you can directly view transcripts on the recent screen in the phone app itself. So again a very useful AI feature that is now available on Samsung devices. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful hidden One UI sign features that every Samsung user should definitely try. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.